Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at a very simple project to make yourself an item that you'll use on a daily basis. So today we are talking about coasters of all things. And this is a very simple, basic project that I wanted to share with you because I know there's a lot of people in the community that like the more practical prints as opposed to the Benchies and Harry Lions and that sort of thing. So I thought I'd share these. They're very, very simple to make. Um, if you're like me, most of my days start sitting at my desk with my iced coffee, trying to get something done. And invariably I lift my cup and find this mess. Um, this is not only a mess, it can also damage your furniture depending on what kind of surface you have on your, uh, your, your tabletop or desk or whatever you work at. So I wanted to find a solution to this problem. It's obvious what the solution is, but instead of running to the store and buying some coasters, even though they're relatively inexpensive, uh, I thought to myself, like, how can I solve this problem with things I already have access to? And it struck me that in the past I had made some basically uh, demonstration pieces to be able to show people what's going on inside of a 3D print to fill space that would otherwise be solid. And I had just basically taken some, some geometric shapes, filled them with some of the cooler infill patterns, and then put zero top layers, or uh, some of the initial ones I had actually just stopped the print before those top layers were printed. And they're good conversation pieces, basically, to show people like what what's going on with a 3D printing process. You're not actually just printing like literally solid objects most of the time. So looking at some of these uh, objects I'd made in the past, I realized like I basically had a functional coaster already. They just weren't sized appropriately. So I jumped into Tinkercad because I was only gonna be using basic geometric shapes. I pulled myself up a circle that was approximately the size to function as a coaster for the glasses and cups that I tend to use. I squished it a little bit. I think these are about five millimeters tall. Uh, exported the STL and then pulled it into my slicer. Once we're in the slicer, I adjusted the bottom layers a little higher than I generally would to make sure that these will not allow liquid to seep through and get to the surface that we're trying to protect. Obviously, it's kind of the point of a coaster. And then set the top layers to zero so we expose the infill pattern that we'll be printing in there. At that point, you can just switch back and forth between your setting screen and your your print preview screen and try to find a infill pattern and infill percentage that gives you the sort of look that you think would look cool or function well as you can see here i just tried a couple different examples we have a, a larger honeycomb the kind of wiggle infill and then the triangle infill which is actually one of the coasters that i use on a daily basis and you can see with almost literally zero effort, you can make some fairly cool items that are very functional little coasters. If you wanna kinda of take these to the next level, I mean, you, you do have a functional coaster at that point if you just print these out as is, but if you're like me and just, you know, are the perpetual tinkerer, I actually took some felt and cork with some of this, uh, this is just a adhesive that I happen to have on hand. This is like a 3M photo mount that actually works fairly well for almost everything. But I sprayed both pieces with some uh, photo mount, glued them together, and then trimmed the excess. And you can see I have one that has felt on the bottom and one that has cork on the bottom. Felt is pretty easy to work with, and you can, you can cut this to basically any shape. The cork works a little bit better with things that don't have rounded edges because it's just a little awkward to get it to cut around curves. So like this... Uh, this hex hexagon here, uh, the cork work works quite well because I just have a series of straight edges that I can cut with like a utility knife. But when these are finished, these make rather nice pieces. And I can already kind of foresee customizing this, uh, this STL a little bit, maybe with some initials or, or some really basic imagery and giving these away as gifts during the holidays or for birthdays and stuff, because they do really make nice finished product projects. I would probably not use the green. Uh, I use the green for this video because it's very easy to see. If you'd use a more subtle color, like a dark blue or a or gray or something like that, they actually would look uh, kind of classy if you take your time cutting the basing material and giving yourself nice edges and stuff. Uh, they, do make, they do make nice little projects. 
So that's it for today. I know this was a really basic project, but to me, that's that's part of the appeal. It takes very little time, very little effort, and you can make yourself a functional, practical little object that you can have and use for years to come. Like I mentioned earlier, with a little bit of customization, these make really cool gift ideas. Just in the 48 hours that I've had these few pieces that I made, everyone that's seen them, uh, especially the honeycomb and the wiggle pattern, has thought they were very cool and wanted their own little little versions of them. So I can foresee making quite a few of these in the future to give away. Uh, hopefully you'll find the same is true and you can give a bunch of these away as gifts or little little novelty items. And they also make cool little conversation pieces about 3D printing and give you an opportunity to uh, show people and to talk about some of the processes involved and some of the things that are going on inside of prints that you generally don't ever get to see, which I think is a cool opportunity. So like I said, that's it for today. Hopefully you find this video useful or entertaining or informational and we'll see you next time. Thanks.